Success! First flight! A jolly good morning to you all, wherever you are. Hope you're having a good day so far. I can say from our perspective, we're having a very good day. Bloody good day, I'd say. We left Wayag this morning on the first passage of the season, actually. It's not a massive one, 160, 170 miles over to Tobelo in Halmahera. It's outside Raja Ampat region. It's the first time I've left there since being in Indonesia. Um, yeah, but I'll go back a little bit. The last video sort of ended with Marie on board and I dropped her off in Sarong about a week ago now and picked up my youngest brother Toby. He's staying with me for a month. There, yeah, that was about a week ago now. So we spent a couple of days in Sarong. I had to get my visa extended. Then we had a good sail over to Batanta and found another waterfall. And then had a good sail, a beautiful sail over to Yangalo. Stayed there a day. And then had an even better sail up to Wyag from Yangalo, which was a 55 mile race. We just ripped nine, ten knots pretty much the whole way. Never been that fast in this boat. Had four good days in Wyag. Obviously I've been there a few times now. I've made a few videos. I didn't film much there this time. But uh, Toby got to see it and actually discovered a few new places that were real cool. And then yeah, set off this morning. Not really to start the passage to be honest. We were going to go to Sayang and get some coconuts, stay there a day. But we came out of Wyag and the wind was just good direction, good strength and so we just decided to pin it and go to go all the way over to Tobelo. So we're about oh, 30 miles into it now. Pretty good winds, we're just cruising along between so oh, we're doing pretty much eight to nine knots flat out. A um, few squalls around but all good. Caught four fish so far, well three and a half. Shark got half of one. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been great. Just reefing every now and again when a squall comes by. At one stage we just had a reefed main. One reef in the main, no head sail out and we're still doing seven and a half knots. So I'm loving this boat more and more each time I sail it. I just, yeah, it's an amazing boat. Such a small boat, 37 foot, she, she rips along like an over 40 footer. And safe and smooth and real good. Anyway, that's the update. Hey Toby! Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, it is a bit of a Those fucking teeth. We've got a new system out today. we got the uh, carcass of the last fish towing it and the sharks are going crazy for it. What happened here Toby? Um, didn't quite get it in in time. <laughs> Missed the sharky shark, had a go at it. <laughs> The sun's just gone down. We left at 9.30 this morning and it's what well, seven o'clock now maybe. We think we averaged probably around eight, maybe a bit more knots. Pretty conservative too. We're gonna to reef in the main the whole day and had a reef in the jib the whole day, but just dream sailing, no swell. Caught five That's fish. Great day. Uh, lost no lures. I'm gonna cook some dinner now and sail through the night and we should be arriving sometime tomorrow morning. All things being well, there's some big clouds around but haven't had a squall for a couple of hours now. And, oh no, it's probably four hours now since the last squall. And we're still just ticking along at eight knots without, without any effort at all. This boat is just 
gliding through the water. Beautiful. One of the best days sailing ever, actually. It's 4.30 a.m. now. We're cranking along still. It's got 30 knots of wind now. It's 40 degrees to the wind, so we're healing over a fair bit and we're smashing off some waves. Solid eight and a half, nine knots the whole time. It's been going pretty good. The wind's just come around, that's all, and it's strengthened a lot, so we're, we're bashing a little bit. There's been a couple of ships pass by, but not too close. We haven't changed the sail configuration, still just one reef. The furlough rolled in a little bit, but she's just handling everything in a stride pretty well. So another hour and a bit, and it'll get a bit of light, and we'll see the situation. Probably another 10 hours to go. Sweet. How crazy is that? It's just 20 kilometers from anywhere, no land in sight. There's a little shack out on a bamboo raft in the middle of this bloody ocean going up and down. Just some local fishermen, I guess. It's two people, three people that I can see. A couple of long boats, so just, yeah, pretty crazy. Uh, I don't know if they'd have lights on at night, but yeah, we can see them in the daytime, so it's all good. Well, we made it to Tobello. I think we had about 30 hours, right? Yeah, yeah, good 30 hours. The last eight of it were really slow. The first 15 were really fast and then in some in between, but we had quite a strong wind, over 30 knots, 35 knots for a little while. We had to put an extra reef in everything, um, but it was cool, managed. It was all good and just uh, couldn't really go a direct route to Tobello. Had to take a bit of a zigzag route so it took a bit longer but yeah we're here now this city definitely looks slightly better from a distance than it does up close but we'll go and have a wander around there tomorrow around the city and have a look go to the market get some more fruit and veg and then probably peace out and go and look for somewhere tranquil to anchor up and go for a snorkel we'll see i know nothing about this region and i'm looking forward to finding out sick of it so we're just going for a cruise. We're not really going anywhere in particular, just decided to go for a cruise around. Pretty nice way to travel though, nice and cool.
Wow, how beautiful is that background behind me? That is the second most active volcano in the world, apparently. What's it called, Toby? Uh, Dongo or something? Dongo? No, <laughs> we don't know. He just said Dongo, but it's not. It's something with D, but we'll find out. I'll write it here anyway. We had a cool day today walking around Tobello. It's a pretty small town, but um, pre pretty nice, and the locals were really, really friendly. They're much different people here than in Raja Ampat. There, there it's Papuan, obviously. Here, it's uh, Maluku, I think it's called. Very friendly. No one spoke English, really, all day. A couple of thousand hello misters, but um, apart from that, not much English. But cool, it didn't really matter. It doesn't, you know, they're, they're friendly. They've got big smiles that automatically makes them beautiful in my eyes. And um, Yep, as you've seen, I put my new drone up that Toby bought for me. So there's some nice footage from that. Got perfect time of the day uh, for that. So the first flight out over water, obviously, out of the way. Puts the nerves down a little bit. I didn't want to lose a second drone in a, in a couple of weeks. But yeah, I have to thank Toby for that because I'll tell you the story about that quick. So I lost the drone, obviously, a couple of videos back. And uh, I told you how important the drone footage is for me for these videos. And there's nowhere in Indonesia, really, uh, where I am in Indonesia, that you can buy a drone, especially not a, a new one, a good one. And Toby was traveling that day from Australia to meet me here. And so I quickly sent him a message, hey, if you find in an airport somewhere, because he was going through uh, Brisbane, Bali, Makassar, some bigger sort of city. So I said, if you can, if you find a, find a drone, just buy one. I don't really care how much it costs. And... So he managed to, he had a six hour layover in Bali, he left the airport and went to town and actually bought one, two and a half thousand uh, bucks. But I'm really happy he did because as you can see from this footage, it's well worth it. Um, I'm not rich or anything, but I definitely think it improves my videos a lot and the photos as well. And uh, yeah, so I just have to keep this one out of the water now, which is not that easy because I'm always flying it off a boat. but. I'll just be a little bit more careful when it's windy. Anyway, um, there we go. Thanks, Toby. There he is. No Good man. A new haircut. Oh, a new haircut. Yep, he got a haircut today. Yeah, that's one more thing we did. Haircut. Um, that's another video done. Tomorrow we're heading off to a place called Meti, Meti Island. Uh, apparently there's a cool little place down there where we can anchor, and maybe we're going to find a guide and. Uh, walk up to this volcano and try and uh, apparently you can walk up around the crater and hang out up there and it's throwing big spitballs of fire at you and that and so we're going to try and do that don't know whether we'll be successful but we'll see that in the next video uh, thanks again to all my patrons you're all legends it's real cool and uh, to all your people who watch and, and um, comment on my videos and hopefully share them with your friends Anyway, see you next time. Thanks again. Bye-bye.